Hey guys, this is Intuitive Anthony doing another YouTube video. It's been a while since I've done a video. Um, I've been working um, and I do third shift, so it's kind of like getting reacclimated, getting my body used to working again, especially after the major car accident we were in, um, you know, a couple years ago. Uh, I think it was 2000. Well, this video. Looking for some topics and things like that to uh, react to. Um, this is a story. Um, I got it on MSN. Um, Cher is ripped over white savior complex over the George Floyd tweet. That's what we're going to be discussing. Hey guys, this is Intuitive Anthony doing another YouTube video. This one I came across on MSN. It's about the singer Cher. Um, she was ripped for White Savior Complex over the George Floyd tweet. Um, guys, uh, before I get into this video, remember to hit the subscribe button, guys. The more subscribers I have, I can get these this, this channel up to the forefront. Um, so don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit notifications, hit the bells. Um, we're gonna get into this article that was in the on, on MSN the website about the singer share. Uh she was being ripped over white savior complex over the George Floyd, over George Floyd's uh, over George Floyd tweet. Okay, now we all know the singer share from Sonny and Share. Um that song Believe, the one that they incessantly played over and over in the clubs. Well, um Cher has been a little here and a little there as far as, you know, how people like her. Some people like her. Some people don't. It goes back and forth. Um, and then the George Floyd tweet, I mean, the George Floyd trial is going on with the police officer that had his foot on George Floyd's neck for nine minutes. Um, I think it's a pretty safe bet to say that if you're a celebrity and you're white, it would not be in your best interest to publicly make any, I would not even touch that with a 10 foot pole because it is very, very tumultuous right now with racial with racial um, affairs going on in the country and all over the world actually. But uh, Cher decided to stick her toe into the water and apparently there was a piranha down there and she got bit. Um, well, she's getting bit. Um, how she chooses to handle it is on her. I'm going to read the article to you and give you a few little comments here and there. And that's going to be the extent of this because I don't want to go all in on this until you know more information. You have to kind of, you have to wait out the storm. You know what I mean? Okay, so shares ripped over white savior complex over George Floyd tweet. Cher was hit with backlash after a tweet which she suggested she might have stopped George, George Floyd's death from happening if she was on the scene in Minneapolis last May. Now that's a bold statement. Mm. Um, but she is getting up in years, so who knows if, she, you know, mentally she's not there at all, or, or, or as sensitive as she used to be, or a little bit more, she doesn't have a filter, you know what I'm saying? So it could be an innocent mistake, but who can really tell at this point? Like I said, I'll make more determinations as time goes on and you know, things get flushed out in the system, so to speak. The singer recounted a conversation she had had with her mom, Georgia Holt, about the trial of former uh, Minneapolis policeman, Derek Chauvin, who is accused of killing George Floyd after kneeling on his neck for over nine minutes. Um, was talking with mom and she said, I watched the trial of the policeman who killed George Floyd and cried. I said, mom, I know it's, it's going to sound kind of crazy, but I kept thinking maybe if I, I'd been there, I could have helped Cher tweet it, which sounds pretty harmless. It doesn't really sound like, I mean, her heart was in the right place. I just think that she's walking into a minefield without knowing what she's um, really getting herself into. So she should steer clear of that. Yeah, I mean, there's ice on the road. Stay clear. And then the fact of it is, is that so far this article said that Cher was talking to her mom. Cher is really, really old. So I'm really curious to find out how old her mom is because her mom's got to be up there. So is it just like, you know, two spinsters talking to each other and they're just rattling off thoughts or, you know what I'm saying? And if this was a conversation between her and her mom, I don't think it should have been made on a public forum. That's probably where she went wrong at. 
Fans immediately jumped on Cher and ripped her. I love you, Cher, but your white savior complex is showing, one person said. Another seemed more angry, telling Cher to stop talking in a meme. That's what she should do. Stop talking. You don't want to, you don't want to, you do not want to dip your toe in that water. Leave it alone. But she, you know, this is significantly underplaying what witness who testified tried to do to stop his death. There have been multiple testimonies of everyone from a firefighter and MMA fighter to a senior man who attempted to defuse the situation. One person tweeted, singing songs doesn't erase racism, Cher. Um, Cher, I think you're great and all, but this ain't it. George Floyd murder isn't about you, another critic said. <laughs> this ain't about you. <laughs> that really does say it best. I would, uh, yeah, I would, I would stay away from that whole thing. Um, um, several people back share. This was a very human reaction. Um, one fan says, as Cher was being dragged, why is anyone mad at Cher? Most people who saw it thinks that thinks or hopes they could have helped. Another said, that's why so many of um. Of the witnesses cry on the stand. If Cher uses her celebrities to help, thanks. Another Twitter user said Cher was just trying to be nice and you didn't and she didn't imply racism. You guys want to push cancer on everyone and then ask why people don't support social movements. Um I think at this time there is I don't know. I don't think there's enough to go on there. I don't, I, and it could very, very, it could very well be an innocent comment that she stuck her foot in her mouth. It wasn't nothing major. It wasn't nothing, you know, hugely traumatic. But um, Cher has no idea of what the struggle is of, uh, of what people of color go through with uh, racism in this country and all over the world, actually. So for her to say that, I mean, it comes from a good place, but I wouldn't. Yeah, you don't want to. Beware of the dog behind the fence. Don't 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 even tread that water because you're probably one of the whitest women I've ever seen. And for you to put your nose in on black issues thinking you could have saved him, him and your heart may have been in the right place, but you really you shouldn't go there. Um, I wanna know what you guys think because if honestly right now it seems like it's a fairly innocent comment. I think it's just that people are so enraged and it's uh, it's such a polarizing court case. That, that, you know, we've had enough with Trayvon Martin and all of this other stuff that there's a, there is, the pot is boiling over. And I know Cher's trying to offer her support, but that's, this situation really has nothing to do with her. And I think that she just misspoke. You know what I mean? I think she misspoke and she misspoke about the wrong thing. I don't know what you guys think. Put it in the comment section. You think it's just, you know, or just a mistake or, she, you know, she said something about an issue that is so hot button right now. She should have stayed clear away from it. Or do you think there was some other implications behind what she said? I'd like to know, guys. And if you have any recommendations, put them in the comment section. I will read them. I read them all the time, guys. Um, uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, guys. Hit the subscribe button, the notification bell. So, and make sure you hit some likes, too, guys, um, so that we can get this video back, uh, the, the videos back up and the channel back to the forefront. Um, I'm really looking forward to some reaction videos. So, guys, if you got some reaction videos, because my suggestions have kind of dried up a little bit. And so um, I haven't been as consistent because of like the last three weeks or so, you know, starting work. But now I've gotten a rhythm with, you know, working overnight and the morning being my afternoon. And I was kind of tired today. So I took me a little nap and I popped up at one o'clock and I came in to make this video. But, guys, I will be back with more content. This has been Intuitive Anthony. And until I talk to you again, peace.